And as we bring in meteorologist Michelle Muscatello, certainly those local holiday displays will have a lot of foot traffic this week with the mild weather we're expecting. It's great to go out and do that. Maybe even finish the yard cleanup that you yeah. might want before we really get into the deep winter chill mm -hmm. and more active weather because we're quiet and mild the next few days. So good day to do some leaf cleanup. Our live camera in Providence over the highway. Sunshine out there. Threat tracker in the green. So there's no severe coming up. Severe weather coming up through the work week with Wednesday dry during the day, but there will be a period of some showers Wednesday night and we'll talk about that time it out for you in a minute here. Let's right now take a look at those current temperatures and normal lows in mid December down to around the upper 20s. The only spot we see it close to that is eastern Connecticut, Willimantic and Groton, both upper 20s and low 30s in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. We've held mostly in the 40s through the night. Now it does feel like it's in the mid to upper 30s with the winds. They're going to stay out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour with some high Gusts. And you can see our live radar this morning is dry. No surprise with all that sunshine we have in store for the day ahead. Temperatures this afternoon make it up to the upper 40s to lower 50s. Let's walk you through the forecast. Already up to 48 at noon today in Providence. Fall River, New Bedford at about 47. Middle 40s at lunchtime in Smithfield and in Coventry. If you're spending your lunch break running errands in Attleboro, made around 46 degrees. Now by late afternoon, Temperatures are already starting to drop. We'll have a much cooler evening and night than last night, already down by 10 o'clock at night into the lower to middle 30s in most areas, including a 35 degree temperature in Providence, 36 westerly and near the freezing mark in Pasco. Then we uh, have the majority of the area falling to at or below freezing by dawn tomorrow morning. Upper 20s, Providence, lower 20s, to mid 20s, Attleboro and Pasco, and right around the lower 30s for Westerly and in Newport. So the cooler weather for this evening and tonight happening as high pressure builds in from the north. It's not a cold area of high pressure, but just reinforcing the dry and comfortable air for us. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon. Most of the night is mainly clear here locally, but we will start to see some increasing high clouds, able still to get some sunshine on Wednesday morning by Wednesday afternoon. We're turning mostly cloudy dry through the daylight hours and the evening commute, but it's after that that we'll start to track some rain showers uh, north over northern Massachusetts, Vermont and New Hampshire. We've got some wintry weather, but it's a warm front that's moving through and the temperatures will actually rise through the night. So just rain showers locally and they're already pooling away by Thursday morning. So the seven day forecast 50 today, a few degrees cooler for tomorrow. Again, that chillier start in the morning, mid to upper 40s in the afternoon. Thursday is the warmest day of our stretch, upper 50s to lower 60s. Now it's not going to feel as warm when you add in the winds. They'll be out of the southwest, gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour, cooling in the 50s for Friday and then Saturday. And maybe doing those indoor activities and get those holiday baking a bit holiday baking going with uh, some chilly rain falling. Looks like wintry weather would be confined further to the north of us, but we'll have to watch for that Sunday, Monday, cool and dry. We get the 